Today we're going to be showing you how to install the Boost Auto Parts Lower Defrost Upgrade Kit on your new style Ford tow mirrors. This video will be for OEM and Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors. This procedure can be performed on the truck as well as on the bench. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and push the upper glass all the way in the up position here, just like so, and then you can grab underneath, we'll cross our hands here and you just pull directly up and it'll snap right off just like so. And then go ahead and disconnect any connections on the back of the glass. Now you want to go ahead and remove the lower glass here. To do so you're going to use a flat blade screwdriver, push the lower glass all the way up, and then you'll go ahead and insert this screwdriver underneath the glass towards the center, and there's going to be a mount here. You want to insert the screwdriver between the mount and the glass and it'll just pop right off. Once you have it unlatched, you can just pull it the rest of the way. Next, you'll want to remove the cap for the mirror here. So there's three tabs inside the mirror, one here, one here, and one here. You want to take your flat blade screwdriver and just de-latch those by pushing down on that tab, just like so. Once you have all those tabs released, you can start to pry back from up here. You may need to get a flat blade screwdriver in here, and it'll snap right off. Now you want to take the included harness from Boost Auto Parts and you want to run this harness from this opening here down to this defrost slot opening here. To do this you'll want to come to the back side of the mirror where you remove the cap here and you want to locate this opening down to the inner side of the shroud here. You'll take the side with the two terminals on the Boost Auto Parts harness and as you can see there's a gap down here between the shroud and the actual arm of the mirror. You just take those two terminals and you'll feed them down through that gap there, just like so. And once you have those wires fed through the shroud groove, you just go ahead and reach in, grab that wire, and pull it through the bottom defrost opening here, just like so. The wires at the top side of this harness here with four terminals, you want to feed them through this slot here. So just run them back behind and feed them through, just like so. Now you want to go ahead and take the two pieces of heat shrink you have in your Boost Auto Parts kit, slide them over the original defrost wires for your mirror, just slide them down until the terminal is visible. Be sure to put one on each wire. Next, you'll take the two male ends on the Boost Auto Parts harness that you ran through the mirror, plug those in to the original terminals for the defrost on the mirror. Then you'll want to slide the heat shrink over the terminal connection that you just connected and heat shrink it down. Now just go ahead and tuck the original harness and heat shrink back into the mirror here. Now you want to reattach any connections that were previously made on your upper glass here. Now you take the two terminals on the Boost Auto Parts harness here for the upper glass and just plug them right in to the defrost pins on the glass itself. You just go ahead making sure all these wires stay clear of the stabilization pins and motor. You can snap this back into place making sure each stabilization pin slides into each slot here. Now when installing these stabilization pins, you're focusing on the three guides just like this one here. Now this stabilization pin will want to slide fully down on the inside of this guide here in order for the mirror to seat properly. It does not want to go on top or behind the guide here. This stabilization pin will need to slide on the inner part of the guide for all three stabilization pins on your upper glass. And once you have this lined up and centered, just press down and it'll snap back into place. Now take your new glass equipped with defrost from Boost Auto Parts, plug the harness for the lower glass in, connecting the defrost wires, and then just line up the center bracket here, making sure you push that harness all the way back in, and press down, and it'll snap right into place, just like so. Finally, you'll want to go ahead and put the cap back on, so you want to line this upper ridge of the cap inside the shroud here, once this is all lined up, you'll want to ease the sides together and you'll hear it fully snap into place. Just like that, your installation is complete. To get all the parts shown in this video, 
check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Boost Auto Parts offers a wide range of Tomir's parts and accessories for trucks and SUVs. Check us out at BoostAutoParts.com.